Okay, today we are going to be learning about the imperfect tense in Latin. The imperfect tense tells us what was happening or used to happen in the past. I think you're going to be pleased with me, I think. I don't know, let's see. But we're going to be using a new set of endings. Okay, there's the bad news. You're going to have to learn some more endings. The really good news is we're going to be putting those endings onto the same stem that we've used already, the present stem. So we know, quick little warm up, that the present tense of amo is amo, amas, amat, amamas, amatis, amant. And we know the future tense is amabo, amabis, amabit, amabemus, amabitis, amabunt. We're now going to learn the imperfect tense. And again, we're going to have endings on a stem. And it goes like this. Amabam, amabas, amabat, amabamus, amabatis, amabam. When I was little at school, we used to go bam, bas, bat, bomb, bas, bat, bat. Okay, dreadful pronunciation, but essentially that's what we're doing. We're learning a new set of endings: bum, bas, but, bams, bartis, bunt, and sticking them on our old friend, the present stem. Now, if amo goes amabam, amabas, amabat, amabams, amabatis. Amabant, you will know that rogo, which means I ask, will go rogabam, rogabas, rogabat, rogabams, rogabatis, rogabant. Little apology at this stage, I'm not very good at rolling my R's. Those of you who've uh, had a look at the video on Latin pronunciation, and there's a link to it uh, on this channel, a Roman would always have, it's called trilling, or what we sometimes say rolling, they always rolled their R's. I just personally can't do it. If you can, you're very lucky, but roll that R at, at wherever the R comes. If it's at the beginning of the word, as in rogo, have a really good crack at rolling the R. I can't do it, I'm sorry. Some things I can do, that's one I can't. But it's going to go rogabam, rogabas, rogabat, rogabams, rogabatis, rogabant. And our old friend, I difficult. If you want to say what was happening, what were you doing yesterday? I was building a bridge or a cake, not a cake. I was building a house. It would be Idificabam, Idificabas, Idificabat, Idificabamus, Idificabatis, Idificabant. Now, the way we practice this, you're becoming familiar with this, I hope. I'm going to give you, or you're going to refer to the book where the exercises are laid out. I'm going to give you some English phrases which I want you to put into Latin. So I might say, give me the Latin for she was singing. And you're going to think, Latin for sing, canto, that's I sing. She was singing, the tense, you're going to be going... Imperfect tense, that's the new one we're learning today. And then you're going to be thinking, what does he want? He wants she, first person singular, third person singular. Third person singular, okay, I, you, he, she, it. So it's third person singular. She was singing would be cantabat. So if I were to say, what is the Latin for? We were singing, you're going to be thinking, Latin for I sing is canto. Were singing is the imperfect tense, and we is the first person plural. So you're going cantabamus. And if I say they were building, again you're going to think Latin for build, I difficult. Were building is imperfect. They were building, third person plural. I difficabant. Flipping that round the other way. If I say, what does idificabatis mean? You need to hear the front end or see the front end idificar and know that that's build. And then see the ending, bartis, and recognise that as being the imperfect tense ending in the second person plural, bartis. So idificabatis obviously means, wait for it, you were building. 
Lots of time to practice what we've learned so far. We've got the present tense of amo. I am doing it now. I do it now. The future tense is what I will do in the future. I shall do it tomorrow. I will do it tomorrow. Uh, there's a whole thing about shall and will, which will... Uh, I'll do a separate video on shall or will. It's such a great distinction. And finally, now this new one, the imperfect tense, uh, what I was doing or what I used to do. Next time, we're going to introduce uh, some conjunctions. Very, very simple, little fellas, to join verbs together. Okay, so hope you're keeping up with all of this. Don't forget, every time you've got nothing better to do, recite off by heart, present tense, future tense, and imperfect tense of AMO. And subscribe to this channel for videos every week. Hit the uh, alarm bell if you want to be notified, and we'll see you next time.